Hi everyone. On this video, I'd like to speak to you about the differences between a leather outsole and a rubber outsole. A leather outsole, in my opinion, looks very classy. It looks clean. It has that kind of crunch when you, you wear the shoe and you, well, when you're wearing the shoe. Um, but most important for me about the leather sole is the comfort itself. It's a kind of live material that firstly on the insole uh, takes the shape of your feet, but the same kind of translates all the way to the bottom as well, where the shoe gets worn on certain directions more or less depending on how your gait, the way you walk is. That gives it unparalleled comfort. That's what leather shoes with leather soles do, especially when you wear your shoe for, a, for long durations of time. Like for example, myself, where I have to wear a pair of shoes for up to 10, 12, 14 hours in a day, I find that leather shoes are the most comfortable by far. But under certain con conditions, they aren't necessarily the best. If you had to go out on a rainy day, it's not your best pair of shoes. If you got caught out in the rain and you had it, that's fine. But if you were to go out knowing that it's rain, raining or something, you're better off with a pair of uh, rubber soles. That's why you need to have one or two leather shoes in your leather sole shoes in your wardrobe and one perhaps of rubber. In those, in those circumstances, a rubber sole is definitely better. It gives you that, that extra grip that you need. Let's say you are going to the airport where you need to have, um, you might need to get into a jog and run to the gate or something you're better off with a pair of rubber soles. That's why my travel shoe usually tends to be something with a uh, rubber sole. Uh, the other advantage of um, a rubber sole is the wear, especially with this kind of a rubber sole, um, the nitrile rubber, is it's very, very abrasive, ab abrasive resistant. And that means it does not get worn out that easily. Uh, there are certain compounds of rubber that give it more flexibility, but that could be at the cost of abrasion itself. Um, Rubber soles that I found um, um, I use in my in my shoes are very very abrasive. It lasts much longer. Um, that's not to say that leather soles don't last. These soles will still last you a few years, but I still have not had the reason to resole a pair of my um, rubber soles. Another advantage I find of rubber soles is that. When you see the, the bottom of the shoe, it has an open groove. I wouldn't really call it an advantage, but, but it's more of a preference. In a leather sole, what we do is a channeled outsole, but we can't quite do that in a, in a rubber sole. So we have to take a groove out and stitch the outsole to the welt. So it, it's a matter of preference. In the case of a rubber sole, if you, if you like, grooved outsoles that's also something you can have in a in a in a rubber sole that's pretty much it that's the difference between a rubber sole and a leather sole it comes down to the compound of the rubber it comes down to the type of leather sole that it is um, that that kind of dictates how quickly it gets worn out or how soft it is how hard it is let me know your thoughts on wearing leather shoes uh, with leather soles or leather shoes with rubber soles thank you